luxury of freedom. It is getting powered by World Sports Betting. It is getimes.co.za. Mamelodi Sundowns nail pyramids. Uh, football club nail. These teams are very similar, actually, in the way that they were conceived uh, in that it was billionaire people trying to break the mold into their country. In Sundowns, of course, uh, there was Chiefs and there was Orlando Pirates. And Sundowns were always existing every, uh, anyways. But around 2002, 2003, Patrice Mutsepe uh, buys Mamelodi Sundowns. And he ends up dominating many years later uh, in South African football. Pyramids on the other side, they were bought, I think, three or four years ago, the first time I read about them. They were bought so that they could break this monopoly as Amalek in al Egypt. As it stands, as we are speaking, they are number one in Egypt. But last season, they were runners-up. The season before, they were runners-up. Uh, they haven't really got the league yet. And they've stopped spending, even though they have above Fagri like Ramadan Sobi as well. So that was a very interesting game, even in that instance. But it was also interesting on the field of play, the way that these teams were going to play a chess game and whether or not Sundowns were going to finally score the winning goal. I was really wishing for Fagri like to score. He got an opportunity. That one, even your grandmother could just tap it in and uh, Pyramids would have made an impression and Fagri like was going to buy himself a ticket to the African Cup of Nations if if Hugo Bros was watching. So Vilagas my analyst, what do you make of the game, sir? Mr. Gilgunjan Vit Bulsa Wena, Bulsu Chuin and Bulsu Chastis. In Bulls and Anamaka, then support the Jal like this TV. So Ben Jovin Jalon, Chig Foot. What a game, Mr. Yes, sir. Yes, what a game. Uh, you know, if 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 we are a coach watching this game, you 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 uh, looking at your 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 fellow Prada uh, uh, uh being tested give answers at some point a uh, bulldozing uh, an experienced coach it's it's unbelievable you know uh, this game he 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 level of coaches when, when 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 it comes to games like this and uh, i like that even though there were a bit of i would say i'm mistaking yana there and there where urulan i think he did but you know he showed good he's 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 there for a challenge he, he can take the punches and you can also return some of the punches because when you put a team like that right in their big box line for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes in that line it, it must say a lot about you in terms of the coaching. And yeah, man, like I said, Mr. K, good thing you have time. Uh, these guys, I don't see them going forward. They will still going to sit. They will sit because in their mind is that uh, we did face off and then nothing happened. Let's do it again, so good enough, and then we'll get them when we go to, uh, to Egypt. The, the interesting thing, so if you remember, take us back to Kevin Hunt, uh, how he played in Sundowns and how, how successful that was was that I actually saw these guys doing yeah. that. And this is the point of research as a coach. Mm -hmm. If you get paid 100000 200000 you should, should you should prove it. Yeah. Um, you should do your homework. They actually started engaging sundowns only when they get to the center line. Yeah. Um, although the disadvantage is that if you recover the ball, if you catch sundowns on a mistake, you only caught them from the center. Yeah. You're not catching them on their own box, right? On, on the edge of their own box. But... At the very least, the advantage is that you are safe. You are safe because whatever happens in Kalala Center, it's not starting, you're not losing four people. Because sometimes like eliminating up, we have a pressing up, but eliminated. That means numerically you only have six now that can defend for you. One on the left, one on the right, two centrally. So four people are already in static positions. Um, and then you have two uh, in front of your defense. So that, for me, was very interesting as well. We're also hoping that Fagri Lake could make an impression, given that he's, uh, there's AFCON in four weeks' time. What did you make of his performance as well? Mr. Ngeo, uh, you could see good the boys good. Uh, beside that, uh, how uh, 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 the approach of, 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 of their team against Sundowns could be injured. But, you know, Mr. Ngeo, I think the boy was, was, was under pressure. Uh, as we're saying now, Oguti, we, we wish to Oguti in Abu Korele uh, because of, we know that in our national team struggling with, 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 with a strike up front. Uh, we, we, we're hoping Oguti maybe will, you will score a goal. And he had an, look, a good opportunity. It, it was a tap in. Then that, that was it for him. And, but now, one, one thing that I've seen was uh, they play too deep. And uh, I think it also compromises him too much because when you want to 
hit sundown's counter but you need to look at the distance you know you, you know they were coming from too deep and he makes i think two runs the other one was with Kekana, and then he couldn't take Kekana on because of why the distance that he was covering i mean making the run going forward he was tired by the time he catched the ball there then he played the pass there and then the second one it was when he made the run no 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 Mrena. Mrena, Mrena, yeah yes. Mrena. and then you could see you could if he can cover that half of the opponents, he can make a difference. But now when he's going to come from his quarter, and then he needs to go to the half, uh, halfway line, and then go to the full half of, of the opponents, it's, it's not possible. But I hope uh, maybe uh, Coach Bruce Bonilla, if we can have this boy, uh, you know, he can give us, uh, when we get, those runs, those balls where everyone pushes up and then we get those balls with that speed, uh, I think he, he, we can get something maybe, from him. Maybe straightforward question to you. Yeah. If you have the phone call as a national team selector, yeah. if you have your phone in your hand, yeah. unlimited airtime, do you make that call to Ufagre? Given that you have Lipasa on the last international window, yeah. you have Shongwane, you have Mahopa. Um, Lyle Foster is dealing with his mental health issues, yes. so yes. we do need a striker. Yeah. Do you make that phone call to him? If not him, where else do you make that phone call? Mr. Kiel, there's three players that I, I think we, we need to call them because I remember that the two that are there already, Ule Pasa, no, 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 Mahop, those are not the strikers that you can really rely on them. I mean, they, yeah, they've shown right. they've shown us in our league that you cannot really trust them. Uh, but players that you know, uh, 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 like Kay. Hey, Mayo and, uh, uh, and Renas, I think they would give us something, you know, uh, we don't have O Foster and uh, I think Mutiba, he's, uh, I don't know whether, available, uh, if he's available then Mutiba also can, can also come in. So that means we can have this four for me, I believe this four because uh, they've shown, I mean look at the, 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 the league, the tournament that is playing, Ulontuzana, like K. That's a top top league, Mr. K. This is top. This 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 is another level in Africa. There's no other level except this one. And uh, currently, his team is number one in, in that block. They leading Elon to They leading Abu Zamalek. It's not a mistake for that boy to be there to start the game. In fact, no, it's not a mistake. And uh, you could see he's working hard. And it tells you that you know when you're looking forward to to the second leg of this game, that game is gonna be open. That's when you're gonna see him more upfront than him defending. So I believe that for me, Mutiba, uh, 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 like K, Mayo, and and Renas, let's. I think this, these guys they can give us something. Those those are who you are taking to the African Cup of Nations. Definitely, I, I would go with them. All right. Um, last one on Mamela Sundown side. Uh, I, in the beginning of this video, you were complimenting Rana Mukwena that he showed uh, support Portuguese coach. These yeah. guys pay, get paid big bucks and yeah. dollars yeah. Um, against anyone, anyways. Whether it's with that, he, 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 he. This club is, I think, the best club in Africa at the moment. Not in history, but at this moment as we speak now. If they're not, maybe they're in the top three. That's why everyone is scared of them. That's why everyone plans properly against them. Do you feel today that? Roland Mokona was able to answer all the questions that they asked him. Just as your last shot, what did you notice about his tactics and substitutions? Did he answer every question? Given that he didn't score and is he's playing at home as well, do you feel that he passed the test today? Because every game for Roland Mokona is a test because everyone is over-prepared for him. They are starting to notice him. Just like everyone knows Peter now, yeah. they are now starting to notice this guy. Yeah. Oh, this is the guy now. Mr. Yeah. Nkio, when, when you see opponents... Uh, home in away when you see, you see opponents sitting against you it says a lot you know you you could see these guys from when they came start to good they told themselves we're not gonna do anything we're, not gonna, we're just gonna sit we're just gonna wait here we'll wait until the final whistle and uh, for me he's just a measure of luck today because there were moments where i think mm, it was supposed to be in Mm, the offside you know there were moments and for me look i i, I believe he, he did very well with, with his team they did very well it's not easy mr keo i always say to people here yes, sundowns are dominating sundowns are winning but mr keo it's not easy playing with 11 people behind the ball 
it's not easy to crack those people. And you could see these ones, they play exactly according to their plan in terms of blocks and no space in between. And uh, once the uh, uh, Sundowns players they get the ball, there's a man in front that's putting pressure. There's a man behind that is also putting pressure. That's not easy, Mr. K. And those boys, for me, well done, boys, it's not easy to play in this league. And everyone, they, they, they're playing against you, but they still tried to dominate and try to score. Well done. Thank you very much, Mr. So and So. Uh, it's very for me as someone who really loves football and watch these matches with great interest. Uh, I'm always looking forward for Sundowns to be challenged. I am always looking forward. Like today, I couldn't care less whether we, uh, the guys felt to go to pyramid is gonna concede. Or some I couldn't care. I was like, guys, just please give them something. Give them something to work on because if it's a breeze. It will be problematic. We got a final. Now we semi final. That's when you get a shock of your life. Oh damn! Like there are other teams that are strong. But uh, today that was an interesting tactical game. We hope you enjoyed it. Although it was nil nil. It is getting it is good times. Whilst we're sweating. Thank you very much for watching us.